So if I have a limited budget, which let's assume most of the clients do, I want to look at my core assets that I'm protecting. If I could look at everything, then I would look at everything. But if I can't, uh, I'll give you a technical example. People always ask me, Do you, why, why, why aren't you adding the web application firewall, the WAFs? Why aren't you adding them into the SIM? And I say, look, a WAF creates huge amounts of traffic. Huge. It's, it's what's happening on the web facing in. So anybody in the room happy to explain to me why, if somebody tried to log in and failed, I need to know about it? What, what, what am I going to do about it? What action am I going to take? Zero. Let's take it a, a, a notch up. Somebody tried an SQL injection, which is an infiltration, or a, I don't want to call it a hacking, but a, an offensive action. <clears throat> and he failed. Why do I need to know about it? It's on the internet. He, he tried to do something. He failed. Are you, am I going to investigate who this guy is? Am I going to put resources into following it all the way into the web? No. This could happen. 20, 30, 40, 50 times a month. Am I going to investigate each one of them? No. If I'm not going to take action, I don't want to know about it. I don't want to be bothered with it. Yes, there are certain things that a WAF, if they popped up, that I want to know about. But they're very, very, very minor. For you to bring in all the raw data of a WAF is ridiculously cost-effective, negatively cost-effective. Traffic you'd be paying for is huge. The value you'd get out of it, zero. You'd know a lot of things. But you wouldn't actually take action in 99% of them. So having the, the confidence from experience to say, guys, we're not monitoring that. I know you want to know. I know it's sexy. I know you like to talk about it, but we don't need it. That takes, you need to be very experienced and very confident to look, to have that argument with the system. And by the way, I'm having it for you because you're the guy paying twice what you need to be paying because you're bringing in traffic that means nothing. It, it means nothing. Again, sexy, noisy, but nothing. That's in, out, out, in. Laterally moving, east to west, so to speak. <clears throat> that doesn't only look at offense, it also looks at employees. You got to remember that people doing things they shouldn't be doing in the network is a very big issue. It's not always a hacker. Sometimes it's a disgruntled employee. Sometimes it's an honest to God mistake, but it opens a very, very big hole. And at the end of the day, am I protecting my boundaries? No, I'm protecting assets. And where are they? They usually reside within, you know, there's always exceptions and all different designs, but usually my assets are in my network. So start from there, start to see if I can protect them. If nothing, if what I'm trying to protect cannot be stolen, then I'm willing to take a risk on the outer bounds. I'm not, I'm not going to neglect them. But I'm putting a little bit less effort there because my asset is inside and I do have internal threats that are as risky as external. So it's not about in, out, and east, west. It's about identifying the asset that you want to protect, or assets, plural, that you want to protect, and building your security from there out, or out, or east, or west. Now keep in mind, my assets, I could, I could find out that my assets reside in tens of different places outside my network. So what are you protecting? Let's hypothetically say that PII is my biggest issue. But from a small study, I realized that I copy it and have temp files of those PIIs in hundreds of servers. This is a true story from a true client. Hundreds of temp copies of that, of that data laying around in servers all over the world for different reasons, for backup, for traffic, uh, uh, they have a system that does, uh, optimizes traffic flow. But what it does is throws data from different servers to different servers. And then nobody was thinking about it, but it gets stored as temp files. So, and that was defined as the number one asset. So where are you building your protection? What are you going to protect now? You have hundreds of servers around the world. Half of them you don't even own because they were using third parties. So it was, it was funny to see and say in a case like that, they were building security and building security and investing and buying systems and buying security. And then when we came in and asked them, okay, what are you protecting? And they told us and we said, okay, but that doesn't mostly reside in machines that belong to you. Do you understand that they were throwing away millions of dollars or nothing? They were, they were building a safe, but the jewelry isn't in it. And, and that's, that's the difference between understanding 
what, what offense and defense is versus just building security.